A household in Germany spends around 125 euros per month on private insurances. However, not all insurances make sense and it highly depends on your life circumstances. We have created this video to distinguish between the nice to have insurances versus the must have insurances in Germany. Hey, my name is Jen and I'm from Guatemala. And mine is Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from SimpleGermany.com, where we create English content to empower internationals to settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. We have to start with a very big disclaimer because as always, we are not licensed insurance consultants. This video is based on our own experience, research and personal opinion. So let's start with the top five must have insurances in Germany. Number one is health insurance or Krankenversicherung. It's mandatory to be frank and you actually need it already to come to Germany. You need it if you need a visa, you need it for your visa. If you don't need a visa, make sure you get it because it's illegal to not have one. So there are three options of health insurance in Germany. Number one is public health insurance. Number two is private health insurance. And there is a third option that's called expat or incoming health insurance, which is kind of like an uh, in-between solution if you don't qualify for either one yet and you should only get it for your visa and maybe for the first year until you decide for public or private. Answering the question which health insurance is best for you, your circumstance and your family if you're moving with them to Germany, it's a very complicated topic because hashtag bureaucracy in Germany, um, it's not so easy. However, there's a really cool company called Feather which they can advise you on which one is the best insurance for you. Their motto is not to push private health insurance because they get a bigger commission, it's actually to find the best option for you. If you already know which health insurance suits you and your lifestyle best, Uh, from our readers at simplejumming.com, the favorite public insurance is Technica Krankenkasse or short TK because they also offer the services in English and for private health insurance it's actually Ottonova which is a new digital and also all in English private health insurance. You can find the links to these three service providers as any other service provider that we will mention in this video in the description box below and those are affiliate links meaning we do get a commission from it without any extra cost for you should you choose to click on them and use their services. Number two is actually my favorite insurance in Germany just because of my relationship to it and that is the Privat Haftlich Versicherung. Did I say that right? You said it very good. Which is private liability insurance. I was in Germany for the couple of years without this insurance and I must say it was not well received by some Germans. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a mandatory insurance, meaning that there is no law that you have to have this insurance. However, it is very highly recommended. 83% of all of Germans have this insurance. And that is because in Germany, you are 100% liable for any damages you cause to third parties. You can get liability insurance for yourself from around three euros per month. So it really is a no brainer to have. And the favorite provider from our readers is GetSafe. I mean, that's cheaper than a beer. Sometimes <laughs> beer costs 350. So I think it's worth it. If you want to know more details about the private liability insurance, we have a detailed video that you can check out in the link that's coming up there. Number three of a must have insurance is car insurance. If you own a car, of that's course. to be said. <laughs> if you own a car, at least the liability part of the car insurance is absolutely mandatory by law. Usually a car insurance in German Kfz-Versicherung uh, consists of two parts, the liability part and the damage insurance. Damage insurance is up to your own choice. Liability is a must. How much money you pay for your car insurance really highly depend on so many individual factors that we will not touch in this video. But on average, to have a full uh, car insurance with liability and damages, you can estimate around 600 euros a year. But again, this is a very kind of like estimation because Ballpark. it highly, highly depends. To have the best market overview and enter all your individual uh, characteristics that fall into this insurance, you can actually follow the over the shoulder guide that I recorded from the website Tarif Check, which is a comparison site that um, guides you through finding the best car insurance for you. Number four is dog insurance or in German HHH, which means Hundehalter Haftpflichtversicherung. Yeah, no way I was going to remember that for this video. <laughs> so six out of the 16 states in Germany actually have this insurance as a mandatory insurance you need to have if you own a furry friend. However, even if you don't live in those states where it's mandatory, it's highly recommended to have this liability insurance in case your dog causes damages again to third parties. Same principle as with your private liability insurance. 
I would argue you can control the behavior of your dog even less than your own. So the same principle applies. Yes, so this insurance also starts from three euros onward and the favorite provider from our readers at simplegermany.com is from GetSafe because they also have an all digital, all English cancel monthly policy that is very easy to sign up and cancel if you need to. And they include all breeds, so there's no exclusion of maybe more dangerous or complicated breeds. Since we're talking about dogs, additionally to liability, you may also opt to get health insurance for your puppy. That is absolutely voluntary, not a must have, but just wanna mention it. And here the provider of a choice or the favorite provider would be Luco, because it's actually the only provider in the market that offers puppy health insurance or pet health insurance in English and all digital. If you opt to go for that, they also provide liability insurance so you could get it as a package. Health insurance or even surgery insurance for your puppy is a bit more pricey as it starts from around 30 euros per month. Number five is Ausland Reiseversicherung or travel insurance. This one is voluntary, but you should highly consider it if you have public health insurance in Germany. Reason being is because public health insurance, it actually does cover within the EU, however, only up to the governmental standard in the country that you're in, which often is lower than the cover in Germany. Hmm. So in that case, or especially if you travel beyond the EU, um, that is something you sh yeah, should consider getting because often, especially in certain countries, medical costs can explode easily. Very true. If you have private health insurance, then most likely your policy will cover you worldwide. You should double check, obviously. So there is no need to consider this one if that is your case. If you're looking into this one, a yearly price is often way more economic than paying for each trip that you're planning to do. And you can easily get a travel health insurance for a year starting from around 20 euros. So it really doesn't break the bank. We have ours from Allianz, which is a global German but global um, insurance provider. And we have been quite happy also with their customer service. Next to travel health insurance, they of course also offer other travel insurances such as repatriation or accident or luggage insurance. That is totally up for your discretion. The very important part is the health part. Now let's jump into the nice to have insurances. We will list seven of them. When talking about the different insurances that are nice to have, you should always have behind on the back of your head the following question. If I would be in that situation that we will describe in each and every single one of the insurances, will I be able to afford from my own pocket paying for that thing or will I not? If you will not, then most likely you should consider getting these insurances. If you're okay financially and you can afford the things that we will mention, then you're totally fine. You don't need to even worry about it. At least that's the way that we think of insurances. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with the first one, which is the home contents insurance or Hausratsversicherung. Home contents insurance covers your personal belongings against destruction by nature or theft. For example, fire, storm, hail, but also a broken water pipe that, you know, floods your apartment. 76% of Germans actually have home contents insurance. The way we look at this insurance is that if you imagine your house and you flip it and then you shake it and everything that comes out of it, are you able to pay for all of it with your own pocket? If you are, then you're fine. If you're not, then you might consider getting this insurance. It starts fairly cheaply from three euros a month and the favorite provider from our readers at simplegermany.com is from GetSafe. As do we have home contents insurance and I personally have peace of mind having it, especially because a few years ago our neighbors got broken into, us luckily not, but in that case, you know, at least that was covered. Number two on our list of nice to have insurances is bicycle theft insurance. Because bike theft in Germany is actually quite a thing, unfortunately. It can also be part of your home contents insurance, which we discussed before. So if you opt for that, maybe you can include your bike as we have it. It's been a life save for me because my bike actually got stolen. And the way that we see it, it makes sense to have it if you are planning on or have gotten a new bike that is maybe worth than 500 euros. So it's like a proper bike that you use on a regular basis. The policy is quite inexpensive, especially if you compare it to a very expensive like e-bike because it can start from four euros a month. Again, the favorite provider is GetSafe because it's all in English, all digital, you can cancel monthly, and you can find that link also in the description box below. Number three is legal insurance or Rechtsschutzversicherung. Again, this is a voluntary insurance, and this is insurance that cover any fees related to lawyers or court fees. It does not include any fines, of course, or any penalties that you actually need to pay from your own pocket. 
46% of Germans actually have this insurance, us included. Personally, I think this insurance is a very nice to have because as expats, we don't tend to understand how everything in Germany works. And because of maybe some misunderstanding, we might get into trouble. And then Germans are very direct and will tell them immediately. So it's kind of like, a, for me, it feels like, a, okay, if I do something wrong, I know I have that protection and I, I don't do things intentionally to cause trouble. But, you know, it's better to be on the safe side sometimes. You can have four areas to choose from that you want to ensure for legal protection. For more information, you can check out our in-depth guide that we linked below. It starts from 15 euros per month and GetSafe is the favorite provider of our readers. Yes. Big disclaimer, this is not by any means a sponsored video from GetSafe. It's just they tend to provide really good service and really good insurance. And our readers from simplegermany.com tend to navigate towards them a lot. That's why we also mention them in this video. Now, please let us know in the comments below how many insurances do you have? Number four is dental insurance or in German Zahnzusatzversicherung. And the actual important word here is Zusatz because it is an additional insurance to your public health insurance. Big disclaimer, this one only makes sense and is only a nice to have if you have public health insurance. Mm. If you have private health insurance, skip this section of the video, you do not need it. You can maybe check whether your private health insurance has it included. Why is it necessary for publicly insured people? Because in the statutory public health insurance, dentistry is not really covered that well. And only the basics are covered. And it's very expensive if you want to get any kind of job done on your teeth. So if you have the genes that you tend to have bad teeth as you grow older, then this is definitely an insurance to consider. If you have good teeth, then maybe you don't. In my case, for example, in my family, there's a history of bad teeth and I'm kind of like scared of having the same genes. However, so far, my teeth have been very good. I've never had any treatment. And every time I go for my yearly checkup, I ask my dentist, hey, how does it look? Is everything going all right or should I take out this insurance because there's usually some years waiting time until it fully kicks in? Hmm. And he always says, no need. So I trust him on that. Yeah, therefore we don't have this insurance because also I have very nice teeth. A policy for this kind of insurance starts also from nine euros a month. And the favorite provider is, ah, uh, this one's actually different, and it's Otonova. Again, this is an English uh, provider of health uh, services, and it's all digital, and you can also cancel it monthly. And you can also find that link in the description box below. Number five of the nice to have insurances in Germany is accident insurance or Unfallversicherung. Now, very important, every employee in Germany has accident insurance for their workplace and the commute to and from work included from their employer. However, if you are prone to accidents, for example, in your private life because you're doing a specific sport or anything, you could opt for insuring your private life and that specific sport, make sure it's covered, uh, with a private accident insurance. Now, what does it do? It would pretty much pay you a lump sum in case you uh, break your bones, you become actually invalid for a certain percentage to compensate for the pain that is caused or actually for steps you need to take to adapt your, let's say, home or other factors in your life to your new condition. 42% of Germans have this insurance, including ourselves. And that's because we love to do things outdoors and we're very adventurous while we travel. We also do a lot of road biking and hiking and skiing. Well, Yvonne skis, I tried to ski, so maybe it's even more important that I have it because I wobble a lot and sometimes fall a lot on the skis. <laughs> so it's important for us to have this insurance just to have that peace of mind. But it's definitely nice to have to cover the anything can happen case. And the gravity of your injuries will define the amount of payout. Of course, there are some terms and conditions to read, but that's just a first introduction. Yes, and the policy starts fairly low. It starts from nine euros a month. Unfortunately, there's no English provider for this kind of insurance. And the one that our readers gravitate towards is the service provided by Adam Riese. It is a German insurance company and it's all in German. However, this one is also all digital. It tends to be quite friendly. The UI is not stuck in the 90s, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and that's the one that you can also find the link in the description box below. Number six is disability insurance or in German, Berufsunfähigkeitsversicherung. Wow. Or short, BU. That is a lot better. <laughs> now, when you ask a German insurance broker, which is the most important insurance to have next to health and liability insurance, they will most likely name this BU insurance. And particularly tell you, the younger you are, the better to get. Hmm. 
I've heard also that this is one of the toughest insurances to get because the health questionnaire is actually quite extensive, which leaves that only 26% of Germans have it. So this is actually the one insurance that you can't just buy, but you actually really need to apply for it. So this insurance protects the loss of your income due to maybe some long-term injury, some mental health issues, or anything that prevents you from performing your job as it is. So the difference of BU compared to accident insurance is that the BU pretty much pays you a monthly pension. Uh, if you are unable to perform your job for longer than six months, and that is declared by a doctor, of course. Whereas the accident insurance pays you a one-time payment. So we have this insurance. I personally did not even know this insurance existed until we had an insurance conversation with Yvonne and she mentioned it. And I would have never probably thought about it um, if it weren't for you telling me, actually. Yeah, and I, my dad made sure I got it the moment that I started working, or actually while I was still studying. The monthly policy price for this insurance really highly depends on how much you want this payout to be. It can start from 50 euros a month. For more information, you can check out the insurance provider Feather, which is also linked in the description box below. They are an insurance provider that also tailor a job insurance for expats, so it's easy to understand. It's all in English and also all digital. Number seven on our list of nice to have insurances is life insurance or in German Risiko. Lebensversicherung, which makes sense if you have a family and you are the sole financial provider. This insurance protects your family income in case there is a sole provider and they pass away. 17% of Germans have this insurance only. We are not included in those 17% because we're both self-reliant and we don't see a need of needing this insurance. The cost of such a life insurance depends on your age and the sum you would like to have insured. And just like before, Feather Insurance offer a life insurance tailored for experts. So check out the link in the description box below if you would like to know more information. And if you are considering getting any of the insurances, you will most likely need to deal with contracts. So make sure to check out the video that's here. Click on the box there to learn more about contracts in Germany. Until next time, tschüss!